quick review. This is the X Tool IP508 Smart Diagnostic System. So basically, this is a old system scanner. So basically, comes in this box. Comes with the VGA cable, USB cable, the tablet, the charger for the tablet, uh, the USA adapter charger, European charger. And the EN adapter then we have the carton which is in the packing list which this is the packing list and the quick guide so then has the quick guide showing you to just this is the power button on the top and then this is plugs into the top and then it plugs into the OBD2 port on the car and uh, that's it you're good to go once you plug it up to the car this is the device right now the IP508 Smart Diagnostic System. Okay, this one's very affordable. This is what it looks like. This is what the side looks like. Bottom. This is where the USB plugs in. This is where the VGA cable plugs in. This to plug into the OBD2 port. This is the charging port. And then this is the power to power it on. So I'm gonna put that to the side. This is the bag, it comes in this bag, but I already took it out. Okay, we have the cable here. This end plugs into the top here. And then this goes in the OBD2 port on your car. Okay, then we have here, we have the Euro socket and adapters that are needed in order to charge it. Then we have the USB cable, which is right here. And that's it. This is all that comes with it. Okay, so now I'm going to power it on and kind of show you guys a couple of the little features that it has. Okay, so hold the power button down. It's powering on right now. This is how long it takes to power on. I love the device. I've used it on a car. Scan codes pretty quickly. The screen is small. I think it's about... It's it's small. The screen's small. But it works. For under $200, this works. But it doesn't program keys. This is just an all-system scanner. And it has special functions also. So I'm going to try to go over everything as good as possible for you guys. Okay. So basically, y'all see, this is the regular basic X tool screen. So then we have special functions, report, remote, auto scan, diagnosis, update, settings, and more. So we're going to go to special functions. These are the special functions that this one has. It has tire pressure, monitor and reset, SAS, um, oil reset, electronic parking brake, BMS, Throttle, injector coating, diesel particulate filter, and ABS bleeding. Okay. Then we have report. This is where you write data reports back or you save them um, when you scan a car. Then remote control. This is where you can control it through your cell phone or uh, yeah, somebody can help you. If they're, they're going to help you with it, they can control it through the cell phone um, through Team Viewer on your device. Then auto scan is where you just click on it and auto scans the vehicle. And then we have diagnosis to where they have my vehicles. They have Europe, America, Asia, and China. I don't do any updates on the China because there's no Chinese vehicles in the United States where I am right now. So uh, the triangles mean going up means that there's updates. That's what those means. The triangles up. Yeah, it's updates. Okay, American, this is kind of put my vehicles. This is all the European vehicles that it has. Then this is the American vehicles here. Then we have the Asian vehicles. And then we have the Chinese vehicles here. Okay. Um, okay, then we have updates. This is where we can do updates. It tells you the date and time that the updates did come out. Um, and then you just click on here to update it. But most of these cars, I don't even see. And I'm not 
doing no skin on no Maybach or anything like that. I don't ever see those cars. Ferraris and all that stuff. It's like once in a blue. Uh, yeah. Okay, so moving on. We're going to go to settings. So then we have different languages. They have a lot of different languages here. Okay, then we have the unit metric. Units, imperial units, and U.S. units. Then we have workshop information. You can put your company name, address, everything here. Firmware information. Um, we can go to the current firmware version. It shows you the current firmware um, version that's on it. Then it'll tell you about it. This is the app. The IP 508S00203. The VCI. Everything. All that information. Okay. Then we have more. More is the X tool, so this basically takes you to the X tool website, and then um, this right here is a user manual. So, like, if you don't know how to navigate around the tablet, you can go to the user manual, and it'll tell you about it on how to navigate it. Okay, um, this is basically it. This is the review for the IM, I mean the IP508S Smart Diagnostic System. This is a great tool. It scans pretty quickly. I've I've used it before. Um it, it moves pretty pretty quickly for me and it does what it's supposed to scan. And I have done like VSA reset with this using a special function, going to SAS. I have done a VSA reset. I have done a throttle body cleaning and clear the memory for the throttle body with this. Then it has a battery um, reset for the BMWs. People that have the BMWs that have to register their new batteries, this works. And then a lot of the new cars that have the electronic parking brake, the EPB, this will retract the electronic parking brake so you can do the brakes on it. And the tool is only $200. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask them with the like, share, subscribe. And comment, peace. And the link will be down to purchase it in the description.